hello guys today in this video I'm going to talk about how we can select data from multiple tables using inner join okay so I'm going to select the tab data from these tables you can see here dot spnet user spnet user roles spnet roles and the profiles so I have selected all the four tables data here and I'm going to uh, like fetch the specific data okay so these are the data what I am going to fetch and let me just do it like this so that we can understand properly what we are going to select so these are the data what I want to select and <coughs> so so we need the data from this table and first thing the username is available in the first table which is spnet user table so i am going to select this table first okay so i will put it here after the okay and i am going to add also from okay so from spnet user we can get user id okay we can get phone number we can get phone number confirmed two factor enabled so these three sorry four fields or five fields we can get from spnet user table from the first table okay so now what we need to do we want to get role name addresses city state landmark pin and the country code so the second thing what we can find from this so first then uh, like on the second thing what we need to do we need to get the address so i am going to add a join on behalf of the user id so this is the user id which is present in the in the profile table as well as the same thing is present in the spnet user table so i am going to use or implement the inner join so i am going to write here inner join and now i need to add on and here i need to pass the column name so i am going to use user id therefore i am going to put this and dot user not id actually dot id not user id it is id in asp.net user table and user type uh, like user, the same column is named as user id in profile table so i am going to Add again and here also I need to add other tool which I want to join so I need to add here dbo.profiles okay so here it is profiles and here also I need to add profiles dot user id okay so here it is user id and now so we have got the data all the data and now the remaining part what we need to select is the name but the name we cannot select directly because the name is available in the third table and the table is named as the third table is named as spnet roles so we need to find the role name from the third table but here it is not the user id it is the role id okay so what but you can see here in the second table spnet users here we have the relationship here user id is related to the role id that means this role id 16f is the second one not sorry this is yes this is the role id okay and this role id is connected to this user right so that means 6f user is the normal user that means it should so user right in in like in response okay so what i will do now i will now i will add again the inner join okay 
from on behalf of user id i will add in, inner join from spnet user table the second table okay so i will use this one spnet user roles okay so i will join this here okay here also i need to add the object so it's the name schema dbo okay so dbo is the default schema so i use the same and again i have added uh, the, the inner join will be done okay on the column id Mm, the column id is the user id so i'm again going to add asp net user dot id so on behalf of that id i am going to use asp net user roles okay so here i am again selecting asp net user role and in here i am going to pass this user id okay so again you can see still we are getting the error because still we have not fetched the name okay so what we need to do now now we need to add the again and add the join from from now we need to add the join on the basis of role id with the like between the last two tables the first table is related like a spinet user role and the so last table is and like second table is, is named as uh, user roles not sorry not the user roles basically the roles only okay so here you can see yeah. spinet roles so from this two, two tables we need to select the data to get the name role name okay so i am going to use here asp net roles on and this join will be done on asp net user roles dot role id should be equal to asp net roles dot id okay and here we need not to pass any condition but if you want to pass any condition then you can so uh, I, I will also show you that part okay so first of all here you can see now we are not getting an error so now let me run this okay so now I am executing this so here you can see we are getting the three data basically i am only having the three user related data in my tables therefore i am getting only three data so let me just put like or scroll it down okay so here you can see in asp net user roles we are having three data in the same way here also i am having only three data and the, this table like third table is a static table so there will not be any insert or update here in this table okay so here it is only two data is here and again this is also again the uh, profile table so here also i am having the three data that's why i have got all the data after executing this okay so now i want to fetch data or profile only for this user id which is having the username of this okay so for how we can implement this like the username condition we, we can do this condition very well because it is like username is the unique name in all those columns okay so here i just need to add where and i know that it is in asp net user role oh sorry asp net users not the roles 
spinet users dot username is equals to this okay so from here we can see here okay now i am getting only one data related to this email id okay but how we will do this in our implement same suppose i want to get data let me also put here the id so that we can also get the id okay and i need to add comma here okay so id is not the unique table you can see here ambiguous column name id so i want to get the id of asp.net user table right so i need to pass it here just as a prefix okay so now you can see we, now we are not getting any error okay and if we get this like execute like this then we are now again getting the like now we are getting the id of the uh, row okay or the user id this is also the user id which is unique identifier or in c sharp we can say it uh, guid or in database it is called a unique identifier so now what we can do suppose i want to access like i don't want to get the data on the behalf of email id i want to get the data on the behalf on behalf of user id so how we can achieve this in the same way what we need to do here we need to pass just the id okay and make sure that we have added this and if we will not add this then again we will get the ambiguous related error so you can see ambiguous column name id ambiguous column name that means we are having like id the column name is id in all the tables or more than one table okay so here you can see we are getting id column is available in uh, in in three tables right you can see here so because of that we are getting this error ambiguous column id so what we need to do again if you want to get uh, like apply the condition on behalf of id available in the spnet user or then we can pass it like this here okay and that's it now like this we can get the data for single id so you can see here we are now again getting the same data but this time we are getting the data according to the past id so like this you can implement the inner join to select the data from multiple tables correct so here please have or do the same thing to understand properly at your end or in your machine or pc or in your laptop and let me know your uh, like if you have any query then let me know in the comment section below okay thank you thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe the channel